Well, welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Cutlery. Hey, today we're doing the Old War Buoy by Kakri House in Nepal, designed by Donnie B. All Day. Before we get to the knife, 22 veterans a day in this country take their own lives. Vets, I love you. You have a place here. We back the blue over here. We support Leo. How do we do that? Well, we don't break the damn law. And finally, if you are an addict, never quit quitting. Well, guys, you seen the video yesterday. I received this awesome, awesome gift. Thank you again to Donnie B. All Day, The Shredders, Captain Electro, Carl Ruger, and Joe Love from uh, Steel Forged and Fire Sword and Knife. Guys, I, I appreciate this so, so much. Now, in all fairness, my birthday is in October. But Joe and those, they knew I wanted this knife, and so before I bought it for myself, they got it for me for an early birthday present, and I am so over the moon. You see the uh, comparisons there, the 1917 Frontier buoy, Cold Steel, against the old War buoy. We're gonna put it up against the Power Hammer, just show you a couple things. The Captain Electro thickness test there. And guys, thank you all for all of the support and the comments yesterday. And a big special thanks to Megatron uh, for finishing this out. I had promised Joe I would do a complete unboxing on video and record it. Uh, one of the things y'all didn't know is the package got to the house at about quarter till two and I had to leave at 2.20 to be at work. So that's kind of why we left it how it was. Plus, I just wanted to leave the emotion in. I, I thought it was fitting and I appreciate and love all of you very much. Now, to the knife. I believe the blade steel is 52100. I've looked it up like three times and had a brain fart all the time. I believe it's 52100, uh, high carbon steel. The handle is 14 inches long. The blade, le or blade length is 14 inches. Good Lord, if the handle was that long, son. Uh, the handle is five and a half inches long. It's got that D-card. It is full tang construction. It's 6.5 millimeters thick. And let me just say this. This is the sharpest knife I have ever received from the Kukri House. Guys, to the Kukri House, I know sometimes y'all watch a couple of these. Hats off to you guys. Awesome job on this. The aesthetics are gorgeous. Normally, I do not worry about fit and finish and all that. But since it was a gift, and it is beautiful, rosewood handles, polished uh, blade finish, it is absolutely gorgeous, and you just seen the sharpness. Now, we're going to do the Donnie B all day drop test, checking the balance, checking the strength of the tip, which it is a clip point with a sharpened wedge, so it gets unbelievable penetration. It's got two nice fullers running down the sides. The balance of this knife is insane. It is not an uncomfortable knife in hand. I would say this, Garen asked me, has been asking me to compare the handles. I, I misunderstood what he was asking. So Garen, to answer your question, I checked with D-Bad this morning. He designs a knife and knife handle to fit as many people as possible, not just to fit his hands. Uh, he said if he just did to fit his hands, we'd have a bunch of NBA sized handles. So what I'm gonna do, man, is I bought a diameter tape I'm gonna start taping the diameter of the handle and putting that in the specs. Hopefully, uh, just a little bit more info that can help you out on what you wanna buy. I can tell you on this one, it's a huge knife, but it doesn't feel that way. It, it, this is one of the better large, large knives I've ever messed with. Balance is incredible as proved right here. We're holding the limb with one arm, using the knife with the other, now, I, want, I like this test because it shows you the control of the knife, which in, in these terms, really, it shows you how well balanced such a large knife is, or this knife is. Able to shave with it, it's, it's, it's sharp as all get out. Again, great job on that, guys. The aesthetics were beautiful. It's got D-bad designs on the side. I love that. It's got scab on the other side. You know I love that. And right here, the, the bite that this thing gets is also incredible. Now remember, 
I've done six different videos on the preacher. I've tested the gator tail, I've tested the little big man, and I've tested uh, the war buoy, or the war machine. All great knives, but I don't know if a knife bites better, or a knife I've tested bites better than this one now. Immediately, people will say, you know, do you like it better than the preacher? The preacher is like an extension of my right arm. So I, I'm not going to compare any knife to it. I just can't. I'm more comfortable with that one. But I'm not just, there's, there's some guys that only want to talk about one knife and one knife only, their favorite. And that's just not the case. This is rapidly rising the ranks. I wanted to show you in this video, this isn't, you know, our normal 15 to 18 minutes. This one's a little shorter. We're going to do another one at some point this week with it in the woods. That's the only real way you can do a test on this knife. What I wanted to show you here today was overall impressions. Say thank you again to those that, that gave it to me. Say thank you to Megatron. Do a little bit of testing with it to show you the capabilities and we will do a, uh, a wide open crazy test this week sometime. Now, let me say this. I like this test. I like sticking the knife in the stump and then pulling the medium across it. It shows the sharpness of the blade, but it also shows the penetration, how deep it's able to get. Let me say this, D-Bad is marching to 10,000. As a community, we've gotten behind him. We need to like, share, uh, push his videos. It, here's the reason, Donnie is a phenomenal guy, yes, but he is a phenomenal knife designer. He really is, and I need to take a minute here and say this. I have no connection with the Kukri House. I have no connection in any business sense with D-Bad or the Kukri House. I don't benefit financially. I'm not paid to test their knives at all. They are just some of my favorites. I love the knives, and they fit me. Now, here is a bound up yoga mat. Now, here's the deal, guys got a deep deep cut I'm gonna show you the cut this was this was the match that Meg had cut with her Wagasashi but now you're talking about a blade that 6.5 millimeters thick and it did that to it is it sharp you damn right it's sharp and again another gashing cut could it be sharper it will be but this is an initial out the box test now now to now now, I wanted to do a couple of these just to show you the slicing power of it. Let's see what it's got. Good looking knife, it's just gorgeous, man. In twain, son. No problem there. And I know it's, it's not supposed to have any problem, but look at that clean cut. Glided right through it, and again, I could have swung this all day long. I did some stabbing, you've seen the stabs with it, no hot spots on the handle, it didn't beat up my hand, didn't beat up my thumb, my pinky, great grip, it's got a nice choil, now, you've seen the bite there, we're going to do a little batoning, we do a little bit of batoning, a little bit of chopping, just enough to give you a good look at the knife, I know a lot of you guys are looking at different D-Bad creations and Kukri House type stuff, let me say this. I will always, I give out a preacher every 500, and I always will, and I will advocate that. If you are a collector, you want a piece of, of you know, like a, a replica of an old historical knife that's highly functional and is damn near indestructible, this is it. Uh, a lot of the Confederate cavalry, a lot of the Confederate soldiers carried these big old D-guard knives. Uh, they grew up with them, they used them all the time, and this is Donnie's kind of ode to that. If, uh, if you're a collector, it's gorgeous enough. If, if you want a wall hang it, you can, but it is highly, highly functional. You see there the little wood uh, chips we're making if we had to feather stick. Now, <clears throat> there are certain functions, a knife, you know, you buy knives for different reasons. This is absolutely a fun knife. I can already see the guys racing to the keyboards to type about how impractical. 
they're the same guys who count the amount of uh, toilet paper they used to wipe their ass with. Guys, sometimes you just buy a knife because it's fun. You buy a knife because it's badass. You buy a knife to have. That's what this is. If you want to get somebody a gift that's just cool, get them one of these. I'll say this again, I'll say it as many videos as I can. Know the laws in your state. You know, it's not any fun if it's if you can't use it. But this is an awesome, awesome blade. Now, we're gonna do some chopping. You see the wood flying? Again, great, great bites. This, this, this knife is rapidly, you'll see several videos on this knife, I can tell you that. No slip, no nothing, grip's good. Just overall an excellent, excellent, excellent knife. Right there, bam. I'll probably get, this is one of those knives and a lot of times I'll do this, even on days I don't shoot videos, I try to use my knives, get better with it, try to show you guys some better testing, come up with better things, and this is one of them. Just a great knife, man. Well, listen, we've got about a minute left, and uh, I want to say again to everyone involved, thank you so much. I got home last night and just sat for a little bit in the kitchen, went back through, read the letters, every word, and I appreciate the thought that went into them. I made sure I messaged everybody and thanked them. And again, to Megatron, thank you. Now this Sunday, we're doing a special, special uh, Sunday with Megatron. It's not gonna be a knife video. There's a couple things that's on her heart. Uh, she asked if she could share. you damn right she can share them. You know, th this, this channel is as much hers as it is mine. And she has supported me and I'm going to support her in that and I'm going to ask that everybody join us this Sunday it's going to be awesome now my boy Mikey whom I love says it best never give up never surrender and scab everything will be alright you know what Mikey's telling the truth I love y'all God bless y'all I'm scab you're not and I'm gone son